Hi, I'm Elizabeth Schindler. I'm a holistic chef and integrative health coach, and I'm also the owner of Ecor Holistic Food. And I'm sitting here with Dan, and we just made, I actually made a green smoothie for both of us. Um, and we have been talking about food and love, which is very near and dear to my heart. Um, the, what I was telling him was that, um, how happy it makes me when I make a green smoothie for myself because it feels very loving and it feels like I'm taking care of that part of me that really wants to be taken care of. Um, and she gets very angry if I don't take care of her and she'll let me know in all kinds of unhealthy ways, which is sort of what brought me um, to this path um, of, of health and wellness. And, um, you know, when I am feeding, literally feeding that part of me that is crying out for attention and love, and I say, here, honey, have this. And, you know, my whole body reacts because of how clean, you know, how clean, you know, the, the organic and um, how clean I feel inside. Um, and then how I can then bring that into my relationships and, um, you know, and love you, right? Because, you know, we hear all the time, like, I can't love you until I can love me, you know, which sounds kind of trite and, oh yeah, well, everybody knows that's true, but actually applying it and embracing that, um, you know, has been a journey that, um, that I didn't start at on for sure. Um, I lost my mom when I was 12 and um, she used to get cooking classes in our house and we were not drinking green smoothies. You know, she, you know, we were doing Julia Child style and, you know, we were eating, you know, veal paillard and, um, you know, a lot of really heavy, um, you know, heavy foods, um, you know, but that's where the connection, you know, that, that emotional connection um, you know, that I learned to have with other people really was learned through food. Um, you know, and then later on, you know, I talk about how that little girl comes out in unhealthy ways, you know, it was really a bowl of mashed potatoes that brought me down, you know, the, the, the craving of sugar, um, you know, and that craving of carbs that was creating that terrible cycle that was really making me hating, make me hating myself. Um, and there was no self-love to be found because, you know, I was craving these foods and I, they were comforting me, you know, I was feeling comforted in that way, you know, that, that food and carbs in particular can, can give us. And, but I wasn't really, I wasn't feeding that part of me that really was hungry. Um, and over, over time I've learned that, um, you know, that that is such a crucial place to to be in relationship with if I'm going to be able to um, love uh, deeply and without fear, you know, because, or without, expe uh, not expectation, but without, um, you know, to love unconditionally is, is, you know, what I strive for, but it's not, um, I, I can never do it perfectly. Um, I was listening recently to Christine Northrup, who um, talks, you know, extensively about, um, you know, the connection that food has in the womb and that connection to to the mother, um, and you know how I'm reminded that it's, you know, similar to the connection that we have with Mother Earth and getting nourished, and um, and I would just I would encourage all of you to. Um, you know, maybe just one choice today that can feed that part of you that um, is hungering for for something more than um, a cheeseburger or some French fries. Uh, and and one of the biggest tools actually that I have learned to do that is to connect with people that love me because they they reflect that love back to me. And they remind me. They remind me of that um, that essence that I that I am love, and I forget sometimes. So having people in my circle that can reflect back um, actually is really crucial for me. And um, yeah, and it seems crucial for um, for everyone that I talk to. And so 
Um, with that, I'm going to sign off. I'm Elizabeth Schindler, and again, I'm a holistic chef and integrative health coach.